Alright, let's take a look of the spec on the headset. It's the Co-Spec Dynamic Design 53mm drive inside the cans. One what uh, output sound pressure level, I'm not sure what that is. It says 100 decibel. Frequency response is 5 up to 35,000. Well, that's a large, huge, huge range actually. Usually I see the lowest it goes for most headset or headphone uh, probably what 20 20 ish and it goes up to like 25,000 or something like that but 5 to 35,000 I'm not saying that my ears go supersonic like Superman or some shit and I could hear it but hey dude uh, numbers numbers so that's what that is okay uh, maximum input power I'm not sure what that is either 1000 MW I'm, I'm not sure what that is sorry in pedance, it's 38 ohms that is very low uh, it's not very high like Sennheiser some of their headphones goes like 100 something ohms and my sound card uh, the maximum output is 64 ohms I believe that's what the Asus DG goes for and 38 ohms I should be able to drive this very easily and I heard heard that audio Texas headphone uh, is not difficult to drive like I mentioned earlier it should be okay net rate is 310 grams that's very not uh, light one meter okay one meter in length the cable uh, is not particularly long it sh could be longer, but if I'm playing with my PlayStation 4, uh, when I'm plugging it into my controller, one meter it should be perfect. It's not that long. It's hanging like on the floor or something. But it does come with the 3.5 millimeter extension, uh, and is the gold-plated stereo mini jack four ports means that it could plug into almost anything, and. USB adapter like it mentioned earlier and the earpads is using the A500X microphone microphone see if the camera will zoom in right there okay it did zoom in that's the sensitivity of the headphone is negative 46.5 decibel and the frequency response for the microphone is 100 to 12,000 hertz a bunch of Japanese right there so on the left side of the Japanese stuff right there that's what I mentioned earlier and on the right for the USB DAC uh, it should be able to apply to USB 2.0 normal standard the CPU is Plantium 4 probably my grandma's grandma is still using it if it's still running um, so everything else is pretty standard I'm pretty sure people would be able to drive this and the maximum output for the USB DAC is 32 ohm so take note of that 32 ohm okay so enough of this bullshit I'm tired of reading stuff and I'm pretty sure you guys are tired of you know hearing me talking talking and keep talking about this spec so let's take a quick look oh shit look at that wow I can see myself from, from the glare anyway okay so this is it you, there's a little window once you open it the headphones just laying there very nice okay let's not waste time let's just crack this open see how I'm supposed to open it okay so you left side on the right side so this is my first time opening this along with you guys while you guys watching this video okay oh okay that's how you suppose I take this out so I take this out Nothing more is in the box, so let's set it aside. 
So this is the package itself. Got some manual. ATH AG1 and AD, ATH ADG1. Okay, so what is the ADG1? That's the open back design of the headphone right here. I chose the closed back design because I actually own the Steel Series um, Siberia netband for a very long time. And so let's put this stuff aside. So I own that for a long time and uh, I want to try something different. I want something that that has a little bit more bass and I did a research online uh, Audio Technica's headphone is not particularly bassy but uh, since it's a close back design and I heard some Linus, Linus Tech review saying that uh, they are a little bit bassy so I would want to find out so there's some protector for the for the head for the ring alright so this is the headphone itself Let's see what else it comes with. Okay, so let's put that aside. More menu. Oh, okay. This is the manufacturer warranty. Uh, that's the Taiwanese years and this at March 31st, but I'm not sure, but probably 103, the 103rd year of Taiwan, the country has been established, I guess. So means that that translate into 2014, I guess. That's my best guess. So it's Audio Technica Taiwan. So put this bullshit. So let's not waste time. Let's keep moving on. So what's inside this little triangle here? Okay, this is the USB DAC. Let's take a quick look of these accessories right here. I'm pretty sure it's finger magnet since it's very glossy and it's been taped with a plastic. I'm not going to take this off for now, so I'll put it aside. So let's measure it. How long is this little USB DAC? Maybe you guys want to find out, but it's approximately from top to bottom, what, two and a, not two and a half, Two and a quarter, a little bit more than two and a quarter inch. That's in that size, probably more than you know, similar to an old school USB receiver of your mouse or something. And this is two feet long uh, extension cord. So at the end is a gold plated three point five millimeter jack. And at the end is two, one for the mic, one for the stereo headphone itself, the cans. So when you plug the headset into here, and that should go inside of your computer's sound card, the mic and the, the headphone itself. And it's two meter long from the description I read earlier. Well, if you want to use your sound card output, I'm pretty sure you need this. So this probably is going to be staying on my systems back for a very long time. But for this, so I don't think I need to use this, but I'll try to see if I plug this into the PlayStation 4, will it work? I'll let you guys know later. And I don't have a notebook, so uh, I don't need one anymore. So I probably won't need this for my desktop okay so enough for this stuff let's go back to the headphone itself it's matte black not glossy finish and you can I actually could feel the texture of the logo right there Audio Technica the microphone it's bannable in any direction and, and it should actually go up to 110 degree but you won't be able to fold this all the way okay but you can probably like bend it a little bit if it's get in your way or something okay and the material oh geez the material on I mean the e pads feels very comfortable oh my goodness this is like 
Wow. It feels good, actually. I'm not saying that it feels as good as a girl's boob, but probably close enough. <laughs> nah, it's not even close, but anyway, um, it's good. Okay, this feels good. The 3D wing mechanism and the padding on this, wow, truly amazing. I mean, you guys have to feel it in order to, to know what I'm talking about. But anyway, I'll try to uh, describe as much as I could, but for as for the unboxing, probably this is it. The left ear, left side indicator, right side indicator, and the cans, you can see the driver, and I can touch the driver, and the driver actually is uh, created like, and it's not a, f a vertical driver, it's actually a slightly angled driver where it when you put on your headset uh, the angle of the the driver should match your ears or or something like i'm pretty sure that's what that design is for so anyway and the cable feels very solid and it's not detachable okay it's not detachable it feels very solid but then it's again the entire thing and this is whopper and inside that whopper i can i could feel there is a there's metal part it's not the entire thing is not rubber inside the rubber is just a wrap inside the rubber for sure there is metal parts i can feel it with my finger and the cans measure up to about four inches and the entire headset including the length is approximately what seven seven and a quarter inches and the width of the headset not the cans but the headband mechanism to left to right from left to right is about six and a half a little bit more than six and a half not seven inches all right so this is it for the unboxing hope you guys like the video uh, i try to actually finish the video in one take so bear with me if you didn't like what i been saying but uh keep this in mind the video is just for to share my excitement uh, so you guys could feel what i feel anyway you guys have a great day and take care until next time.